Mayweather and Jake Paul get into a nice little heated brawl. And yes, that camera person should be fired. I apologize. That's the best footage I can find. But, you know, ever since I was a little kid, white people, used to, they love doing that shit. You know, they love stealing your hat, throwing your hat. Keep away, keep away, keep away. And, yo, n niggas don't go for that shit. We don't. Because, what I mean. School did you, what's on, what school did you <laughs> What school did you go to where the, all the white people were doing that? Well, I, um, I, this, 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 this is a grade school, like a K to six. Um, uh, yeah, and and you know there were obviously not a lot of black people at that school, so you know right. white people doing it like you, you could tell that happened to Mayweather when he was a little kid. I know that, and he got, he got pissed. Also, it's a sign of disrespect. You know what I mean? Somebody just take your hat and shit. But um, uh, really and truly, what would have happened? If everybody just backed away and let them do what they wanted to do. I mean, is it possible charges would have been laid? Like <laughs> is that a real question? Yeah. That's a simple that's a simple answer, man. Uh nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened. What do you mean nothing would have happened? So if everybody backed away and all their security was like, well, do what you want to do, they yep. wouldn't have fought. The whole reason that that even escalated was because the security got involved. That's why probably Mayweather got involved because if they had backed away and it was just his security against against Mr. Paul there, Mayweather would not have to do anything, right? And why why risk my payday for for two seconds because you took my hat? Well, how much is the hat worth? This guy's about to get a hundred million dollars. So that is thinking with logical sense. Yeah, I know, but this is don't forget. He, he's a fighter, like Mayweather is a fighter, but he's a boxer, so he's used to fighting, he's used to controlling his emotions when shit like that happens. That's that's something that boxers train themselves to do, like, they have a lot of aggression, but they know to release it in the ring, and save everything for the ring, that's why they have these face-to-faces, that's why they get the pushing and the shoving, but it never really gets anywhere past that, because these guys understand there's a payday involved, it's, it's all for show. Yeah, when I seen it too, I was like, man, y'all are just promo and shit. Yeah. But... Enough with the promo, It's entertaining man. to watch. I wish I had seen what actually happened, though. That would have been nice to see. see damn, cameraman. Seriously. Fire this person. Shit, like, fire real, them. Even if, it's all, even if it's all bullshit, fire them. But, I mean, really, like, throw them hands. That's what I want to see. I, like, I'm, yeah, for sure. I'm sick of the huffing and puffing and throwing your chest out. Throw them <laughs> hands. If you got something to say, you be face to face. Ain't nothing in between us but the win. Yeah. Throw them hands, but um. Uh, so the the fight is actually gonna happen. Who's he fighting? Jake Paul. I thought he was fighting Logan. Is it Logan Paul? Man, if I gotta be honest with you, man, I don't know. I can't even tell the difference between these two niggas. <laughs> 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 I gotta be Honestly. honest with you. All I know is I want to see Mayweather knock the breaks off one of these motherfuckers like like just put them like like hospitalize one of them not to the point of death <laughs> not to the point where they can't do regular shit moving forward but just they need to be in the hospital to recover you know what i mean because right. and it's not so much about the physical either i don't want him to damage the physical i want him to damage the ego it's just the physical needs to get damaged for the ego to get bruised that's all that right. is so i want him to damage the fuck out of the ego it's like it's like if i'm a great white shark right 
and you know I run shit in the ocean. And here you come along, fuck you, great white shark, you can't do, and you talking all this shit from a boat. I got right? your hat. Yeah, I got your hat. From, you know what I mean? From, from dry land or Sorry. whatever. And now you have the nerve. You have the nerve to jump in the ocean and look at me. Fa- I'm fucking you up. I'm sending a message. That's all I want to see, man. I want to see a message in a glass bottle sent. I, I, I'm pretty sure that that it's good promo. It's good promo for the for the fight, man. Like I'm I'm eager to see what happens in this fight. The height difference is a, is a huge is a huge thing, but. But Mayweather's security is a lot bigger than both of them combined. So you saw if you if you the, when it first started and you took the hat, the first few people to get involved was Mayweather's security. There was a guy behind him, a guy beside him, a guy in front of him, and he disappeared. <laughs> and then he disappeared. Yo, what do you so, think? <laughs> he needs to be thanking all those camera people and everybody that was around because he would have caught a serious ass whooping. It looks like. Who do you think has better security, Jay Z or Mayweather? Jay Z. Jay Z definitely has some military intelligence. <laughs> this guy went right to that. Fair enough. Actually, probably right, man. Viewing public, leave it in the comments. What do you think, man? Anybody ever try to bully you and take your hat? They ever try to bully you and take your hat? Take their life. I'm joking. That's that's extreme. Don't do that. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Dude. Look, man, if you live in Canada, if you live in Canada and you have a child that is um uh 12 and up they can get the Pfizer vaccine dude <laughs> it's crazy i mean i mean look i understand because like kids right they they are they are the people they are the ones who are transporting this thing all over the place you know a lot the, the for the most part they're asymptomatic so you don't even know. And um, uh, they're in daycare, grade school, whatever. And they just come home and, hey, can I have some ice cream? Sure. Want to share my ice cream? Of course I want to share your ice cream, son or daughter. COVID. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I understand it, but I, I would like to know what parent is signing their kid up. Um, well, I mean, this this is for parents. I mean, this is this is for parents. There, there's very few twelve year olds who, of their own mind, said to themselves, "You know what? I need to get this COVID vaccine without being influenced by their parents." Very few. Whatever the parents' feeling is of that household is the kids' feeling. So, if the parents don't want to get vaccine, the kids are not going to get a vaccine. Right. You know what I mean? If they're twelve, if you're twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and your parents want to get the vaccine, you're getting the vaccine. Like that's that. This is for parents. Let's not let's not be mistaken here. Right, right. I mean, you know what I mean. The only way that I could see it, because like really, the people who are expiring uh, because of this virus, not always, but from what we've seen, is people with pre-existing conditions. So or elderly people or elderly. Thank you. Um. So you know, if you're you know in that younger age bracket, so twelve and up call it 12 to like 17 let's say that mm-hmm. um uh if you have a pre-existing condition where if you get ca- uh you know if you catch this thing it could really do some damage to you whether it takes you out or not but it could really do some you know long lasting damage to you right, right then right. that might be a reason to get vaccinated that's the only way that i can see it for that as well but um i mean i guess it had to start somewhere i mean We're the only people who are, we're the only country, Dre, the Canada, we're the only one who's doing 12 and up. It's rolling them dice. I can't, I like, I like, I keep saying, man, I can't keep track of everything. I'm just gonna, from now on, whenever we speak about COVID or any of these vaccines, I'm gonna listen to your facts and I'm just gonna speak on whatever you speak about because I cannot keep up. With who's doing what, when, and where? How many vaccines there are? Who's whose age group is what? The side effect can't do it. So, man, Astra, Zerna, Moderns. Fair enough. And then, <laughs> and then there's um the, the baby oils. The same people that make baby oil and baby powder create vaccines now. So that's cool. And then now we have we have Fizz, Fizz, Fiverr, Fizz, Fiverr, Fiverr, Pfizer, 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 Pfizer. You want and me to call yo? You must want me to call the Pfizer men them come check you. Pfizer is a gang, son. <laughs> Go get their vaccine. 
<laughs> Viewing public, uh, what are your thoughts on this, man? For real, for real, for real. Um, uh, 12 too young? Do you see the science behind this? No pun intended. Does it make sense? Let us know. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Social distance. Wear that mask. Doses. I like Joe Rogan. I do. I think his commentary is very insightful. Um, I, I, I think he's knowledgeable at certain things. I think so. The king of the podcast. His crown will forever he's, be... He's the Howard Stern of podcasting, for sure. His crown is... His jersey is already in the rafters. He's, yeah. he's solidified. He's in the books. He has some uh, comments about, oh, Canada. I quote, Canada's fucked, right? <laughs> uh, they're so locked down, and I don't understand why they think that's good, end quote. Um, uh, new quote. Hey, guys, take your vitamin D, sleep, drink water. End quote. New quote. You can do what you're doing where you have fucking Gestapo pulling people over for your papers. Why are you out? Why are you out of your house? There's a cold floating around. End quote. You know, um, CNN had to respond to comments he was making. I um, uh, can't remember their doctor, like the main doctor. Anthony Fauci had to respond to him as well. Basically, he was saying, he's like, I don't know why they're in... This is what Rogan was saying, and I'm paraphrasing. I don't know why they're encouraging young people to get it. Young people aren't dying from this. Just go to the gym, exercise, you'll be fine. Right. Joe Rogan is the king of the podcast. Millions and millions and millions of people listen to him every day. So when you get someone like that saying something like this, yes, uh, Anthony Fauci has to respond to that because in his mind, uh, Joe Rogan is spreading misinformation, right? right. Um, I'll okay. let you go and then I'll top off. Go ahead. Yeah, because let's let's bring it back to what he said about Canada because what he was saying about Canada was pretty much that when uh, Doug Ford chose to put in that, that, that uh, law where cops can stop you and ask you where you're going, that's what he was comparing to the Gestapo, yeah. Gestapo times, which was the Nazi times and the Holocaust and all them type of things there, right? So, uh, I I don't see anything wrong with what he said there. When he said like he doesn't understand what Canada's doing, why they're in lockdown, I mean, uh, isn't everybody in Canada feeling the exact same way? He's not going to catch backlash for this the way he caught backlash for what he said about the young kids not getting it. I guarantee you. Because this is something that he said that was against Canada, was against our government, everything like that. But everything he said in there, majority of Canadians feel the same way. And I have a hard time finding a Canadian who doesn't feel like what he said makes absolute sense. Because the rest of the world is out. Even the place where the, where the shit started. You know what I mean? Like, everywhere is out. Places are having concerts and festivals. And we're talking about this all the damn time, how Canada's still in lockdown till May 19th, and we don't know what's going to happen still. And they're trying to put in these laws and shit. It doesn't make any sense. So, commend Joe Rogan. Nothing. I don't see anything wrong with what he said. Me personally. I mean, except for the Gestapo remark, because yes, Ford did try to implement that. The keyword is try. And then he redacted, he, 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 he retracted it. Right. So, you know what? A person like Joe Rogan with such a massive platform could have done, or at least his staff, you know, he's got staff. Hey, when you talk about this, say this is something they tried and it never happened. So he's True. telling the world that this is what's going on in Canada. What's going on right now. That's and a good point. That's yeah. inaccurate. It's just not true. Right? So, no. Um, as far as the lockdown, yeah, I mean, you know how I feel about the lockdown. I'm on board. But, I mean, when you talk about with what's going on now, and if you want to compare it to our neighbors, America, fine. Joe Rogan's American. Let's do that. You know, they, rightfully so, I don't I, I, I don't knock them, but they bogarted the vaccine. Dude, like weeks ago, we said they were at 100 million people vaccinated. Yeah. America has... 365 million people weeks ago, maybe a month ago, we said a hundred million. I, I don't even know where they are now. I know they're way past that. So <laughs> fuck right. Of course they're opening up and they're doing concerts and shit. They're like, we got all the fucking vaccines in the world. We're going to open up way faster than you. We had to lose a lot of people in the process because they were dropping the ball. They, they didn't even have hands when they were trying to handle that ball. 
But now they right. got all they the vaccines, so now they could nose up at everybody. Yes, okay, good for you. I'm happy. I don't want to see anybody die, no matter what country you're in. That doesn't take away from the fact that Canada, I'll use white people uh, terminology here, screwed the pooch. They really screwed the pooch on this one when it comes to the vaccine. And unfortunately, we're paying the price for that. Now, the price that we're paying is restrictions, lockdown, frustration, depression, loss of job, loss of wage, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, how do you go from the country that's bragging about being Hold on, like hold on. The there's, one, there's one more at thing. The top hold on, there's one more like thing. Mismanagement. Hold like on, this. there's one more thing. That's the price we're paying. But the price America paid was all those things that I just mentioned, plus loss of life. Their loss of life, granted because their population's a lot higher, is way more than ours. God rest all of their souls. Right? God rest all of their souls. So as far as who's handling the pandemic better, I still think we are doing that. The only reason why, like I said, they're opening up more and faster is because they got the vaccines. Sorry, go ahead. I don't know. The, I don't know the numbers. I don't know the numbers for the death rates or, or in comparison or what percentages or whatever it is. I don't know the numbers, so I can't really respond to that to say who is doing better. Because if you just take America's numbers and then you just narrow it down to compare, or you increase Canada's numbers to compare to to America's, maybe then you get a number to see if there's a comparison but as far as how many people are dying it, it is what it is it's it's everywhere is above 99% recovery rate mm-hmm. like everywhere so i don't see why we have to be with the same with the same recovery rate as everywhere else in a more constricted thing that's all i'm saying like the numbers say that it's not killing as many people yes we have many more cases of course we're going to have deaths that come with those cases but it's still in the in the 99th percentile that people recover. Yeah, so, no, 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 I agree. But that's yeah, and that's and that's. But you, again, America only started doing what they're doing as far as opening up because after everybody got vaccinated. Exactly. And all that stuff. That's yes, what's, I hear and, you and 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 when it comes to the world meter for COVID, America is still number one when it comes to their total deaths: five hundred ninety-three thousand nine hundred and eighty-seven. So they're number one and on the list when it comes to us, Canada, I'm scrolling down this list right now, bro. I'm (laughs) still scrolling. I am scrolling trying to find Canada. And by the way, that is not a bad sign. So hold up. Here we go. Number 22. And when it comes to deaths in Canada, number 22, we are 24,489. America's over 500,000. Right. So again, when it comes to who handled the virus, yeah, we, we're still kind of winning that race. When it comes America to who's handling the vaccine, yeah, I can't America. even compare that. America. I can't even compare that. Yeah, yeah, because they have a population of what over like a hundred million people that live in in America. Are, no, three hundred over three hundred and sixty-five million people in America. So naturally, yeah, naturally they're gonna have more cases. They're gonna have more deaths, of course. But I'm just right. saying, like Rogan. I get it. I get why you would say it. But brah, 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 brah. You're not, you don't have the upper ground on this one, brah. I'm sorry, brah. And also, you're misinformed, brah. You need to do your Googles, brah. Rich man, yeah, sorry. definitely misinformed with that one statement, though. I can't argue that. Viewing public, what are your thoughts here? I'm a, I'm a Joe Rogan fan. I just don't like this one. Um, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe to our pod. I want them M's. We want them, them M's. Leave it in the comments, man. Deuces. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Yo, 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 Chris, Chris, Chris. We got to 200 subscribers, man. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want to stop there. We have a new goal. The new goal is 500 subscribers. So what I need you to do, I need you to like these videos over here. I need you to subscribe right here, man. Two guys doing the podcast podcast, man.